Jack, welcome to Burton Albion. How does it feel to sign for the Bruners? Oh, it's been unbelievable. Um, this past week, everything's happened so quickly. And I've just made up to get everything done now. And you know, coming here today, seeing the facilities, meeting everyone. It's, um, it's unbelievable for me, yeah. So obviously you just said how quickly the move came about. How did it come about and was it just a case of getting the phone call and it was like, oh wow, this is actually happening? Yeah, well, I had the most slight interest um, probably last Saturday. Um, and then on the Sunday, the gaffer of Chorley rang me and let me know uh, that a bid had been accepted. And when I heard about what club it was from, and it was Burton Albion, Albion, it was just a no-brainer for me. Couldn't believe it. Um, I was delighted, to be honest. And what was it like? Were you telling your family that moment? Like, must have been a special moment for you. Oh, yeah, look, it's a special moment for me and my family and all my mates. I've got a couple of mates with me here today. Um, as I say, this is my first professional contract at the age of 25, so they were, they were delighted for me. Um, my mum started crying, and my mum couldn't be here today, but I'm sure she'd be like, delighted to be here. She's here on holiday, but, yeah, one of them. So, like I say, yeah, just tell us about your footballing journey. You started at Tramier Academy, but then, like I say, it's been a bit of a journey since then, hasn't it? Yeah, I suppose I've had a different uh, path to everyone else, really. Um, when I was younger, I was at Tramier. Yeah. Um, left there before the age of 16 and after that I just kind of went and played football with my mates locally um, then moved to Oklahoma in America on a football scholarship was there for six months came home and then played non-league in England um, with a team locally called City of Liverpool I was there for a few years and then ended up moving to Chorley last year where they had a really good season really uh, took, took, took a couple of steps up in leagues and had a good season and obviously I'm here today and I'm here uh, made of. So yeah, as you said, your journey into football has been a bit of a different one compared to everybody else's. What do you think you've learned from your journey that's gotten you to this point? Um, I think I've still got the rawness to my game. Um, I think sometimes when you go through academy football, maybe sometimes stuff's taken out of your game. And I think I've been always allowed to do what I want to do on the pitch. Um, no one's really told me how to play. I've always been raw and I think that's worked in my advantage sometimes. And yeah, I've, I've, I've learned a lot coming through non league. It's a lot physical. Um, the, the lads are bigger, stronger, quicker. Um, so, yeah, I learned a lot in that respect. Um, and obviously, I'm making another couple of steps up again and I'm, I'm eager to improve. I'm, I'm ready to learn and uh, I can't wait to get going. Then, obviously, last season, as you said, you made the step, surely. Double figures for goal contributions last season. And what was it about the season that sort of clicked for you? Was it just all the hard work you put in? Yeah, look, I've I done a lot away from football as well um, before the move to Chorley. Um, I think I always, I've always i always scored goals wherever I've been. I've always backed myself to score. Um, but as I say, there was, a, there was a lot I had to do off the pitch to make sure my body was right. Um, and it's something I look on continue to do and working hard and improving. And then obviously you said the Burton Albion was a no-brainer, but why was it a no-brainer? Oh, it was unbelievable. But as I say, when I heard about the interest... Um, I heard there was a League One team that came in for me. As I say, it's been my dream since a little boy to become a professional footballer. And like today, 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 it's finally happened and I'm over the moon about it. Um, not just that, I heard about the facilities, the facilities at St George's Park. And it's just like, it's an un unbelievable experience um, for me. And um, yeah, I'm really excited. And then just for the just for the fans, tell us a bit who is Jack Jack Hazelhurst as a player. What can he bring to the team? Okay. Yeah, I think a lot of a lot of the Burton fans might not know know my name. So um, I, I like to get on the ball. I like to score goals. I like to create goals. Um, I always work hard for the team, and I can't wait to get started and and play in front of the Burton fans. Um, it'll be a dream come true. Which team are you looking forward to facing most next season? Have you, you talked about that yet? Yeah, there's a couple in there. I've had a little look at the league. Uh, there's some big teams in there. Um, I think Birmingham will be a good one. Uh, Wrexham, your Stockport. Um, and I think Huddersfield. I think they're, they're big teams. They're, they're teams that I used to go to the game with my dad uh, for Everton and, and watch them teams. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to play against them. Jack, welcome to Burnaby. Cheers, mate. Thanks very much.